What's up, guys? Welcome into another episode of the Michigan Recruiting Report. I am your host, EJ Holland. Today, we're going to be talking about a brand new prediction, huge development for the Wolverines on the recruiting trail. Before we talk about that, I want to invite you guys to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for free, and also subscribe to the Wolverine.com. You want the latest Michigan recruiting information, you want it first, you don't want to get information that's behind and, and see all these predictions come in after mine. So head over to the Wolverine.com, use the promo code UM1, and that'll get you uh, full access at the Wolverine.com. And that's $1 for two months. Use the promo code UM1. All right. So the big development is I have logged a new on three prediction for top 100 quarterback Brady Hart. And by the time you watch this video, I'm sure others have joined the party as well. But I was first. That's why you should try to the Wolverine.com. Um, look, I put in a prediction for Brady Hart coming out of his unofficial visit to Michigan. So he arrived on Friday, left Michigan this morning. And I feel really good about where the Wolverines stand post visit. I had a chance to talk to Hart after the visit. And he had nothing but great things to say. He called the visit spectacular. And something that really stood out to me about my conversation was Brady with Brady Hart was the fact that he said that Michigan has an unbelievable culture and he saw himself as a fit. And that's completely true. I went down to Florida and spent some time with Brady Hart and his family. And I could just tell at that point, and I wrote it over at the Wolverine, that Michigan was a true culture fit for Brady Hart and that he actually reminded me a lot of 2025 quarterback commit Carter Smith. Now, Carter Smith actually played a role in helping recruit Brady Hart. So, you know, again, very similar personality types. And, you know, when you look at Brady Hart as a player, if Michigan is able to seal the deal and this prediction comes true, you're having two of the best quarterbacks in the country in back-to-back -back cycles in the great football playing state of Florida, arguably the best football playing state. Uh, you could make the argument for my home state of Texas, but regardless, Brady Hart's playing great competition. He led Coco to a state title as a sophomore. He threw more than 40 touchdowns. So when you look at the film, you see a big athletic pocket passer. He's six foot five, 185 pounds, really filling out his frame nicely. He can throw the deep ball. He has a lot of zip on his passes. I mean, from an arm perspective, this is the best arm talent that Michigan has landed um, since JJ McCarthy. You look at Carter Smith and he has pure arm strength. But when I'm saying arm talent, I'm saying uh, Brady Hart has the arm strength, the ball placement, and the accuracy, he's he's more polished uh, in terms of being a pure passer than Carter. Now, Carter can do a lot more with his legs, but Brady's very athletic as well. I think they complement each other. You know, Carter being a, a really dynamic athlete, Brady Hart already being an advanced passer with some upside left too. You know, much like Carter Smith, um, Brady Hart comes from a baseball background as well. His father, Alex, played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So he kind of grew up in a baseball background. So that upside's still there as he continues to develop. But again, I think the, the Smith heart combination is really a dream combination. And before the arrival of Kurt Campbell, I mean, Michigan quarterback recruiting was pretty much dead. The Wolverines weren't able to land Dante Moore. Matt Weiss was a poor recruiter. Uh, Kurt Campbell came in and just rejuvenated things. He's been a fantastic, aggressive recruiter at the University of Michigan. He got his guy this cycle in Carter Smith. Yeah, there were a lot of Bryce Underwood headlines and whatnot, but Carter Smith was the guy for them. And then in 2026, it looks like he could land his guy in Brady Hart. And, and like I said, I put in that prediction. I feel good. Um, and, and Hart's just such a magnetic recruiter, really made an impact on this visit. And you had coach Sharon Moore made a big impact on this visit as well. You know, what was interesting about Brady Hart's recruitment is he was considered a Notre Dame lean early on. And then there was a prediction for Clemson. It seems like the seemed like the fan base was uh, pessimistic, but we continued to write that Michigan was in a good spot and the staff deserves nothing but kudos for knocking that out of the park. So I think Michigan now has the lead. I feel good about this prediction. We'll see if the Wolverines close 
So for more details on that, head over to thewolverine.com. Use that promo code UM1, $1 for two months. And also like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for free.